and we're live. Welcome back to our podcast, which is today, episode 31, On the Mat, episode 31 of the podcast, and we are on the mat, on the veranda, and it's about to start pouring rain. So, I apologize, I apologize, I apologize. for the background noise. I'm doing this one with Steph. I know you guys don't really want her in, but she had to include herself. <laughs> I did, we had a meeting last night, and it was at 8. We were supposed to podcast, and then I was like, no, it was too late. Mm. So that's why we're doing it today. Your mic is turned around. Oh, there like you, you want go. it sideways? No, you have to speak into the front of it. Uh, so introduce yourself to everybody. What's your name? Your background? Okay. Actually, okay, okay. <laughs> what is... <laughs> I'm like, I feel like that, yeah, way to I just saw you boring. and your dad having this conversation. So boring to have me on here. Okay, go what ahead. is your heritage, actually? <laughs> what is your background? Oh, shoot. Now I don't even know this. Okay. Look it up. I'm going to pull this up. I know on my mom's side. You were side. messaging with your dad the other day for the first time in, I feel like, ever since <laughs> I knew you. Her and her dad never messaged, so. No, we like chat on the phone once in a while. Yeah, once in a while. Okay. So it was see. cute. I was happy for you guys. I feel like you guys are really rekindling your relationship. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, my mom's side is like Swedish and Norwegian. Swedish and Norwegian. Yeah, and lots of Norwegian, as far as I know. Um, and okay. then my dad's side's very like Mennonite. Um, my grandmother is English, and my grandfather said that his parents immigrated from Belgium, Belgium to Russia to Canada. So originally Belgium. Okay, that's a mess. Yeah, it's a little. <laughs> You're a mess. <laughs> How does it feel to be like all screwed up? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's a little bit of mix of everything. My mother looks. A lot of white. Why do you think <laughs> I don't tan, honey? <laughs> I've been here for years. It's true. I look the same. I look fresh off the plane. Yeah. I've tried. But in Norway really won the competition with Seva. Yeah. 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 The Norwegian Norway, side. Sweden, <laughs> Belgium, they beat Fiji with Seva. Yeah. 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 My blood came through strong in that. So strong. <laughs> Some would say the strongest. Yeah. 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 Um, and you know what? I always really wanted a blue eyed baby. This is a funny thing, but like, I think like when you picture your kids, you picture them looking like you, no matter what. Like when you're like, oh, my children, you're like, they will be like me. And then when I married you, I went, oh, my kids won't be what I like pictured them to be, which was fine. I was just like, oh, wow. what? Wow. Well, you're brown and you have brown eyes and that gene is so much stronger. What do you mean, you people? What? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just trapping me over here. Anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, and so then when Aliki was born, I was like, okay, yeah, like he's beautiful and I'm going to have two boys probably that look exactly the same and then when seva came out i was like what's going on <laughs> still <laughs> looking for his real parents <laughs> well when he was a baby and you travel with him <laughs> it would look very like, okay funny. actually okay <laughs> you have a good story about when you were at at the swimming pool maybe you've told it before with uh, but this is with eliki oh yeah right and okay so me and eliki were at a water park and the town that we lived in before in Kelowna is like majority Caucasian or white people. But the place, the, the part of town that you were at was like really the one part of town where there's like Africans, Asians, white people. Like well, and mostly mix. East Indian people. Yeah. And East Indian. And yeah. so but I would say that was the majority of people at the water park. Right. And so it was just me and my mom was there. And Aliki went down the water slide and then he crashed and he started crying. So obviously as his mother, I ran over to give him a hug. And then this East Indian lady ran up to me and she's like, why are you hugging that child? <laughs> like, what are you doing, you creepy lady? <laughs> I was like, oh, no, that one's mine. That's mine. <laughs> the baby's mine. <laughs> it can't possibly be yours. Yeah, she, Were was, you like she was very skeptical of me. Like, why? What are you doing? Get away from that child. That's obviously like one of our kids it's not yours and i was like oh one of ours she was like the she was like well, the it wasn't her kid queen bee well, it wasn't her kid so she was kind of like it's definitely not yours right yeah <laughs> she wasn't like claiming 
a leaky for herself. No, I think so she, she was like she was looking after the whole community as a whole. For, for sure, which was fine, but it was just very funny. I I just got a good laugh out of it, but yeah. <laughs> well. So and you have that with Seva, so we we both look like we're not their parents fully. So that's yeah, funny. but people wouldn't dare like come up to me and be like, "Oh, that's not your kid." People just call the cops straight away. <laughs> 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 Yeah, because they're scared that you'll beat them. <laughs> You're a lot bigger than I am. That's true. That's true. <laughs> they're not scared of me. Like, okay, run. I'm going to get you. <laughs> yeah, I've never... They might be. They should be. They actually should be more scared of me. Let's be real. Right? Oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've uh, never really been picked on in my life. Probably because I was usually bigger than everybody. And I'm smaller now than I used to be. Like, yeah. My chest is really, my my whole body has kind of gone old man. Oh yeah, it's great. I'll, it's great. No, wow. this is a good look. Okay. What? <laughs> with, with who? So guys, no, if you guys join us on the live, our kids are interacting with us, and it's the afternoon. They're playing soccer. It's raining, Let's and get somebody else get a big kid. Now they want to go swimming. Go ahead. So if you guys are on the live, welcome. Thank you for joining. If you're in a vehicle. Drive safe. And if you're listening to us at work, uh, put down the tools and just listen to the podcast because we really need your full attention. But if you guys are live, <laughs> please <we>? ask <laughs> please ask <laughs> questions. If you guys, this is why we do the live so that we can interact with you guys. I always say that. And I believe in the next few weeks, we should have a sponsor coming on board. As I mentioned to you guys uh, earlier in the week that we are looking for sponsors if you guys want to sponsor this live or be in one of the you know feature your company or business in one of our YouTube videos or anything mm -hmm. like that uh, be sure just to shoot us an email marketing at walkafarms.com and we'll make sure we get back to you so that's right as as we were saying oh my body my rib cage is expanding <laughs> and I'm not really a big fan well you but I think it's fine. I, I've always told you, one day you'll get an old man's body, which like all guys... I saw myself shirtless in a video when we went to the secret beach the other day, and I was like, yeah. whoa, yeah, my body's really like, I've gotten wide. It's you because know? you're in your 30s now, and then once you get up to like 28 to 35, guys... Dad rib, bod. No, their rib cage typically compresses out, like it expands, and so that's why your body shape will change. That's why like you get barrel chests and things like that. It's not a bad oh, that, thing. Yeah. Barrel chest. That's one way to describe it. <laughs> you don't have a barrel chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John has some issues with getting what? bigger. Our children really want to go buy some candy. And they're really depressed that they're not allowed to. But they're not allowed to. So, yeah. But you guys had apple crisp today. What made you make apple crisp? Like, So we live in Fiji. Oh so, and like apple crisp is not really like a thing. Do we tried apple crisp? You liked it? Yeah, I just Skeptical, like to slowly it. torture to it because he says he doesn't like yogurt and cinnamon. So everything mm -hmm. I cook, I like try to sneak it in there, and then he'll be like, "Oh, I like it," and I'm like, "See, see." <laughs> How do you make apple crisp? So apple crisp is just peel your apples, chop them up without the core into like medium small pieces, like bite-sized chunks, if that's more accurate. You take sugar and cinnamon and mix it, and you don't want it overpowering with that, like just a little bit, because apples are already sweet. And then you take um, oatmeal and butter and more cinnamon and sugar. And then you mix that together um, and a little bit of flour just to thicken it. And then apples on the bottom, oatmeal on the top, and bake it until it's So good. Done. It's the best with... Uh, it's easy. It's the best with vanilla ice cream, I think. But Oh, yeah. yeah. Or just like straight whipping cream. Yeah, but normally yeah. we just eat it with milk. Yeah, but we just had it with milk. But it's nice. It was like a long time since I've had... A treat like that. Yeah, actually. the boys were asking me for like four days mm. and they were upset that I hadn't done it for them yet. So I told them in the morning before school yeah. that we would make apple crisp together. I'm not good a decision. very good mom to like work with my children in the kitchen. It's not like my forte. I don't like teaching them that particular skill just because I get frustrated easily. And even like with myself, I don't have like a recipe or like a method. I'm just like throwing things together so to direct other people and how to do it it's like it's a little more complicated so the easy ones that's where i'm like okay come we can do this together yeah well you're more of a cook than a baker <laughs> we'll say she's a bit more of an artist than she is uh 
r rule follower. So baking is a science and you have to like follow the rules, the recipes. And because everything matters. That's what I think. Yeah. yeah. And like if it says half a teaspoon, it must be half a, half a teaspoon. Like I measured an actual teaspoon. Yeah. And I'll be honest. Sometimes I like put it in there and then it's like kind of heaping. And I'm like, ah. It's okay. Yeah. See, that doesn't work. You got to be accurate. <clears throat> if you're an artist and you want to have fun, then cook. Yeah. Yeah. Stay in your lane is what I'm saying. Stay in my lane. <laughs> Yeah, I am. Like yeah, yeah, apple crumble. It is Some apple people crumble. call it that. Yeah. yeah, same thing, I think. Yeah. Can't be that different. It's probably just like what you Google. <clears throat> it's like how brings up different in North America we call like a shot of espresso and water an Americano. And for whatever reason, Australians decided to call it a long black. Just seems unnecessary to go there, but <laughs> they did. I mean, these are the things that happen down there. I don't under. think the people naming coffee drinks were perverted in, like, they're thinking like you are. So, I think. Yeah, but you okay. know how, like, uh, <laughs> if a kid's like, oh, see that basketball player? He's really long. It's like, no, no, that's not the right word. I know what you're trying to say, but it's tall. Like, when you pour liquid yeah. into a cup, you don't, it doesn't get long. It's tall, you know? Yeah. And so it's like, I don't know. I like to trust the. It's kind of like when you name your child, like you really need to go through all the scenarios of how it could be misused, like their name. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, it could be, how could it be bad in some way? Like go through their name and just make sure they can't be made fun of. Mm. You know, that's kind of like the same thing as naming drinks, I think. Actually, like. Uh, but maybe it's more catchy. An interesting thing, like at the coffee shop, we have um, what we would in Canada call them cinnamon buns with icing sugar. Yeah. But in Fiji, we call them sticky buns. Because people's first impression is, oh, no, it has cinnamon in it. And I don't like cinnamon. It'll be spicy. But the way we make it has so much, like, it's a dessert. It's sweet. It's not spicy. People enjoy it. But the word cinnamon was detouring a lot of people. So we renamed it Sticky Bun. And now people are more, like, eager to try it. That and, worked out. And they like it. Yeah. So it's just kind of a funny little, like, names matter in that way. Mm -hmm. So did you hear about... O.J. Simpson. Did you even see the O.J. Simpson news? You know who O.J. Simpson is? He died, yeah. 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 He died. I didn't know about this. I was just, like, scrolling through some of the headlines. If um, And I was like, holy smokes. O.J. Simpson died. So, for those of you who don't know, he was an NFL player. Like, a really, really decent NFL player. And it was kind of like the face of, like colored people in the sport like in its earlier years i guess and then he was definitely he went through a trial where he was convicted or he was accused of murdering um I don't know if it was his wife or his girlfriend and her his, their friend and <coughs> it was so clear that he actually did it and then oh. he didn't get accused but, of it okay i missed that because i was talking to our kids is this oj simpson yeah yeah he died <laughs> And so I was like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. And then who's this Jenner? Oh, Caitlyn Jenner. I th I think didn't Caitlyn Jenner represent OJ Simpson? No. no. Or oh, were they yeah, together in the so past? Wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry about the background noise, everybody. No. Okay. So um, Chris Kardashian was married to whatever Mr. Kardashian's name was. I'm who's like, Chris? Chris is the mom of the Kardashians. Okay, obviously. <laughs> Such and an idiot. her husband, her first husband, was a major lawyer. And he represented OJ, OJ in his major trial. Oh. He is also proclaimed to be Kim Kardashian's godfather. And there are suspicions that he is also... So who is Caitlyn Jenner to the Kardashian family? He or she is the ex of Kris Jenner. Just married. But not the lawyer. Another no, one is the lawyer. her second husband. Okay, because Caitlyn Jenner tweeted, like, good riddance. And I'm like, what do you have against OJ? Yeah, no, that's just, like, nothing, Attention? no relevance. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but I don't know, it was just like, whoa, OJ Simpson died. Because he got out of jail, I think it was in, like, 2017 when he was released. So he actually never went to jail for the crime that everybody knows that he committed, but never actually got, um, like, sentenced for or, like, actually accused of. Okay. He was accused of it, but he was never sentenced or convicted of it. And then in 2007, I think there was like a 
some sort of case and then he went to jail for like nine years. And then he came out in 2017 and it was like, I remember listening to podcasts and being like, OJ Simpson's out. Uh. This is nuts. And then now he's dead. Just kind of like one of those iconic cases that I like always. I just didn't know that he was that old. I didn't know that. Maybe he was fighting some sort of illness or something like that. He's not that old. How am I? How old? No, 76. 76. All right. Okay. Like, well, so, it's getting up there. Yeah, but in North America, that's not that old. Yeah, but, you know, that's a lot of stress. <laughs> you know, since 94? Yeah, probably. He's been dealing with stress, so. <clears throat> Take you down. Yeah, don't worry, everybody. I've got all the helpful Kim Kardashian information for John so, to keep him straight. <laughs> yeah. You watched a lot of Kardashians back in the day, didn't you? Yeah. yeah? I don't actually know lots of details, but yeah, I used to watch it. I don't know. Who are the daughters? Who's the oldest? Kim. Kim. Yeah, you know that. We got. No, no, she's not Kim, the oldest. Kim. We got That's Caitlyn. Not, no, you're wrong. We got no. what? You're wrong. Chloe. No, yeah. Chloe. <laughs> I'm so good at this. Courtney is the oldest. Oh, we're, she's the tall, skinny sure. one. She's like the. T- oh, okay, we're done. Moving on. Why? No, she's like. I think. I think Courtney is like the short little one. And oh. then, I don't know. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I think she's and the then oldest. It's Kim. And then it's Kim. And then it's Chloe. Chloe. And then there's it's the, the billionaire. Oh. that are like uh, Kylie and... Oh. oh, Kylie Jenner. She's the billionaire. Yeah. Is she the richest of them all? I think so, actually. Huh. Kylie and the model. How did she get so... <laughs> wor- makeup? Makeup. Hmm. And she used to, like, overdraw her lips. And now I think she gets, like, Botox. Oh, really? Yeah. Would you ever get Botox? I wouldn't... I don't think so. I don't really see the need. <laughs> I mean... Where can you get Botox, I guess I should you ask. You don't even... You don't even wear sunscreen, so you should never consider Botox. First step, sunscreen. Dude. Oh, like, a Botox is only for your face? Um, no. Or can you get it in, like, other parts? Like, to fill out other parts of your body? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know many people that get it in other places, but I'm sure you could. Hmm. Even some people get it in their chin to give them, like, a longer chin. And, yeah. A longer chin? Yeah, like a more, like, defined... Like, Australians gap. would do that. Like, they want long blacks, long chins. <laughs> no. Okay, that is... <laughs> yeah, like... There are some people, actually, I did have a couple friends growing up that it's like, you don't know what it look like. You're like, why would somebody get Botox in their chin? But then when you see somebody who, like, God forgot about the chin, you know, when yeah. he was, like, putting them together. Oh, and it's, yeah. We've met like, a few people that, like, especially guys, they have beards, and then they shave off their beard, and they have, like, quarter of their face yeah. on. You're like, whoa. Like, wow. You need a beard again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> trying to flag us down. I think it's okay, Norm. So Norm's in the live. Norm's a dedicated liver. <laughs> <laughs> so true. And actually, Norm, you'll be happy to know I got a jellyfish thing in my lip again the other day. Oh, uh, yeah. And that was like, I looked at it and it was like, all right. <laughs> I might rub a couple of jellies on my face when I get older. Yeah, that's exactly. Well, like the jellyfish out there, you can swim oh through them. Oh my goodness! But like, there's like thousands of them, and then they'll like you're like swimming and they're hitting your face. But if they get like your lip, like I don't find they hurt on my hands. But if they get anywhere like your neck or your lip or anything, it's like stings and swollen. Yeah. It's not painful. Like the kids are in there and they don't care, but it's not. It's kind of itchy or something. Yeah. Yeah. They're kind of. I don't know. It's weird because you hold them in your in your hand and they don't sting, but then like if they touch your face, it's not very nice. No, it's because your hands have like a thick callus on it. Where like mine don't. My my hands are like soft and supple. <laughs> They're way softer than when I used to, like do heavy weightlifting. Mm. Like I miss my calluses a lot. Do you? Yeah. I don't. I used to have like really callous hands. Oh, from cleaning. From cleaning. You would be surprised at how many calluses you can get on your hands from mopping. Like, <laughs> when 
you go into like someone's house and their mansion is like 10,000 square feet and you have to mop the whole thing by yourself, it is it's what it is. It's surprising how broken people get from cleaning. Or like oh, once you yeah. understand the cleaning business or once you do cleaning, you get it. Yeah. But it's weird. You don't think of like cleaning as being like a job that like you could get a lot of like workplace injuries from. So. Yeah. Well, your lower know. back hurts. And your shoulder, like most people cannot switch arms. And then um, you get like a knot in your shoulder from like the constant similar motion. Mopping? Yeah. Yeah. Or like scrubbing or whatever. And then I get like really like, I did it for so long, but like my hands would get like stiff and I couldn't bend them. Like I'll get like frozen hands. Yeah, what'd you have to do? You used to have to soak your hands, right? Yeah, I used to have to soak them in ice and then hot water and then ice them again. Right. My hands. And then I even bought like this like electrical um, tens machine that had like a glove attachment to it, and then I would like electrically pulse my hands. Yeah. Yeah. I love that thing. It was so funny. That thing's nuts. Like if you like attach it to you, it like can make your muscles spasm, and then like you can't control yourself. <laughs> it like puts an electric charge through the muscle that you attach the pad to, and it's supposed to stimulate like blood circulation to that yeah. area. What? Yeah. Some people get Botox at the base of skull to remove all this. Oh, that really? is true. I have heard that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's so, true. like in the back? I think it's back here. Whoa, just to like lift your head up a little bit? I don't know what it does. <laughs> lift your head up. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> no? No. But it does help. I've heard that. Whoa. There's lots Thank of you, Tara. uses for that. And I, we had a friend... Um, you remember that Australian couple that we met snowboarding? They're a Christian couple. Oh, yeah? She used to have some issue with, like, her face was, like, collapsing in. And so she had a lot of Botox. Oh. She would get every few months because her cheek had fallen in on her face. And then... Where was she from? Australia. <laughs> I'm telling you, there is... You guys got unique sets of issues, right? <laughs> she needed, like... Wow. A, a long cheek, right? Like, make it a bit longer? Or is that tall cheek? Yeah, no. I'm just saying, there's something about Australia. Yeah, Australia. John, John's not welcome in Australia anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I never want to go there anyway, so. Okay, well, I'll expand on why don't you want to go to Australia. Um, Because I always think that anything there can kill you. Like spiders and snakes and, like, evil sharks. So many sharks? Yeah. I, I'm not even afraid of sharks here. Are you? No, I can dive with them. It's fine. I'm still terrified of them, but like I'm in the water, so that says something. I'm glad we got rid of your shark bracelet. You know, I'm that's not, not like a crutch of yours when anymore. When we first moved here, I bought like this shark bracelet that apparently had like electromagnetic pulses that would go out. It's just a big magnet. That's all it is. It doesn't matter. It made me feel it's like way more safe. Yeah. And now you don't feel safe and anymore. Do you know who lost it? You. Huh? You made me bring it for something. Yeah, because you were going out diving and like. That's land. what you get. I was going on a diving trip by myself. And Stephanie was like, all right. I told you that it was going to probably be really sharky. She's like, hey, you have to take my shark bla bracelet and you better wear it. Yeah. and then Not only did I not wear it, <laughs> I lost it. Exactly. Yeah. <sighs> That's why you're not allowed to travel around without your wife. So, <laughs> okay, you are allowed to, but maybe like do better. <laughs> I don't ever want to leave your side, my darling. I love you so much. <laughs> Tui's <laughs> laughing in the background because he's like, it's actually true. Hey, oh, isn't that nice, honey? come on, guys. Be nice. Be nice. That is nice. So, don't be shamed. What was, oh, yeah. So, for those of you who guys who watch rugby, if you don't, then tune out now and come back in 30 seconds. There was a game last week with the Fiji and Rua and our star scrum half, the guy who yeah. always goes and passes the ball from the bottom of the rock or the scrum or whatever. He elbowed a guy in the back of the head. Oh, back he of his elbowed head. him. Oh, yeah. Very like, clearly like elbowed like him. Purposefully? Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Like real hard. And Frank's actually from Sabu the guy who did it. Okay. So he's going to serve a six-week suspension. I guess they're getting really strict on, you know, assault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing. 
saying because <laughs> phrasing it like that is <laughs> what <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean i think the game's getting soft my, <laughs> myself but i i do remember a, <laughs> a time when i uh i full-on punched a guy in the nuts at the bottom of a rock you did oh dude he was he's i think he was like stepping on me or like something like that and i was like laying down and he was like squatted over me trying to like protect their ball and then i just like hooked him i was like on the ground i was like (laughs) wham but like you know you punch somebody in the nuts you come in from the front yeah not that you have nuts but like i came in from like the back like (laughs) like i was laying under him uppercutted his nuts yeah i made contact with the testicles first and and he was he was like dude like like well, I was like, well, stop it! And he's like, dude, you know I want to have kids, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, You're like not anymore, sucker! Yeah. I'm like, stop stepping on my head. <laughs> it's like it seems fair, right? You're like, my head is precious to me, and you will no longer have children. <laughs> yeah. Did you get called out for it? Oh no 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 no! This is just club rugby. Oh. I don't get no. Actually, I, I think if I would have punched him like shaft first, I probably would have got called for it. But because it was like, like nuts first, like. <laughs> <laughs> from the back i think it was like it was a bit more secret people are like what do you call that like they're like what happened there was he yeah. like violating him was or that, was it violence like what was, was it on purpose or not so yeah i, don't I think know. I've, I've, you have to be smart if you're going to assault i'm trying to think if i've ever had like a violent it, like altercation in sports like probably but not like that well you played what netball I don't or volleyball know. Well, I played baseball. Baseball. And I played volleyball, and I did gymnastics, and I played, like, I don't know, flag football, if that counts. I didn't want to play real football. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) gymnastics assault, I feel like, would just be, like, it would be nothing interesting about it. It's a single solo sport. But, like, baseball, I've definitely... um, Baseball seems like it would be violent if somebody wanted to do assault. Yeah, I, I, I have tried to, like aim the ball like at a pitcher that tried to hit me a few times Have she you, like tried to hit me when she was can pitching. you do that can yeah, you, you aim the ball yeah you can yeah you're not that, good. that hard oh really girls pitch a lot closer to the mound than guys oh. yeah so it's not that hard yeah and so she tried to purposely hit me twice because that's part of the game sometimes and so i tried to hit her back <laughs> was this in softball yeah fast pitch oh fast pitch yeah. okay but and I've been like smoked. Someone's hit me, but I don't think purposely. Like hmm. I don't know. I've been hit in the face, but I think that was all like. Yeah, well, we can see that. That's what all the Botox is for. Honey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to lift up your long cheek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, one day I'm gonna get it. The deeper these go, one day I'm gonna like put them back, so you guys can watch oh. for that. Do it. Look at it. See this? These are called elevens. You have like, you have like, a thousand Grand, of them. Grand Canyon elevens. <laughs> yeah, John has more than just elevens, but that's okay. It's okay on guys. I feel like this though will just get deeper and it'll just get permanent. Yeah, but I feel like if you're like a useful like today, good perfect example. Like you're going you're out in the rain, and the water's like flowing down over your eyes. I got water in my eyes. Oh no. And then you can just go like this. And then the water, you can just kind of direct it. <laughs> Funnel? Yeah, like on either side of your eye, down your nose, and around your face. Yeah. Uh, you're right. I'm never going to get rid of that. Yeah. Just in case I'm out in the rain. Dude, like. keep your 11s. <laughs> I would. Yeah, we'll see. Well, I'm talking about, like, let's say, like, 20 years down the road. I'm, just, I'm not going to ask you. I'm just going to do it. And then hmm. one day I'll show up with, like, this very smooth forehead, and you'll be like, wow, you look fantastic. <laughs> Oh, dude, I was trying to picture you now, like, all puffed out and everything. It's not puffy. No? It's just not wrinkly. Not like, you know, like that. I would say the one feature about your face that is, like, very specific to your whole family. Okay. Oh, no. (laughs) What? Okay. It's not a bad thing. You always make it sound like a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. All her family's eyes are close together. Like, you know to some people? It's like, you you guys ever seen Sid the Sloth, like, on on okay. ice age okay. you guys are the opposite of sid the sloth like his eyes are like yeah so far away isn't that a better feature to well obviously i find you attractive 
just like just cross-eyed my <laughs> whole life. <laughs> um, it's just like when I look at like your brother and like your dad, I'm like, oh, that is like the one standout feature. Is like you guys' eyes are all like just a bit more closer together, and it just but it works. It works. I I don't know about yeah, my let's family. Talk about yourself. Well, I have, I have a nose for days. Okay. If so I was a, so you're Australian. I have a also? long nose, <laughs> like a long black, like a long nose. Except mine's a wide nose, right? No, I don't think it is. And apparently, your nose never stops growing. Yeah, so you, I by the time you're like so eighty, screwed. you're going to have a schnauzer. Dude, <laughs> dude, say goodbye to your hunting dogs. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. Dude, me and Harley. I want Harley to rest. <laughs> but it's for me. It's the. It's the I have Neanderthal like eyebrow. Uh, oh, like the I have heavy he- brow. Heavy brow, like yeah. It's it not actually, even like you have thick eyebrows, but it's not even just your eyebrows. It's like your forehead. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take it to the whole forehead. <laughs> you did see my eyes are really close to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but and I maybe that's the one thing that makes Fijians <laughs> like Fijian is that like I don't know if we all have it, but like. Just me. <laughs> I can't tell what's heavier, like, like, you know, just like the weights that I carry every morning when I work okay. out, or my <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> They're so heavy. But you know, you learn how to deal with it. The reason I notice is because like it's so hard to find the goggles and mask that actually fit my face for diving. I know when I come out of the water. It's like such a heavy ridge on the top of my, <laughs> yeah. on up here. Uh-huh. I'm like, whoa, like, it, no wonder it hurts, you know? No wonder <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, well, you know, I always feel like it just is what it is. You're just born with what you have and make the most of it, right? It's well, okay. what can you do? I mean, every morning. Well, you could Botox. <laughs> you imagine <laughs> adding Botox to this? Just plump up your forehead. Yeah. A little bit more. It'd be so heavy. <laughs> so well, heavy. You know what? Probably one day you'll have to do because I think your mom has it. Like because you have a heavy forehead, like your eyelids will droop. Nobody <laughs> said I didn't. Okay, just for the record, I didn't say I have a heavy forehead. I said I have a heavy eyebrow thing. Yeah. Here. Sorry, your eyebrow thing, but like my eyes have hats. <laughs> like actually, if you look at like the side profile of my face, I never get water in my eyes. Yeah, but this is what sure. I'm saying. Probably eventually one day your eyelid part will droop a bit once you get really old. Yeah. And then you have to like pin it up again. That's what people have to do. Ooh. Old people sometimes they can't see because the skin goes over their eyes and they have to pin it back. Really? Yeah. Is it, oh, you had like eye, eyelid reductions and yeah. stuff? Yeah. Okay. Like things to look forward Insert to. Insert picture <laughs> here of what I am going to look like in like 40 years. Remember we did that like face yeah. app thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You were you were better looking than I was. I looked old and you looked okay. Yeah. Yeah. You just look more gray. That's about it. Yeah, but my nose didn't stop growing in the in the renders, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> They're like, oh, his nose keeps growing. Give this guy a nose. <laughs> Give this guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's your nose and your ears? Yeah, true. I have big ears. No, I'm just saying they'll grow. Oh. I have misshapen ears. Like one is smaller than the other. Really? Yeah. Huh. So, how about my lips? I like how we're just talking about like specific body parts. Well, why not? You um, always said you like my lips. I really like your lips. It's like They're a very defined. I have a very, shape. I have a deep V. Not my shirt, yeah. my lips. But that's like even if we look at our kids, like they have that, and then they have really good eyelashes, and like boys always get like the really like good features. Yeah. Yeah. That's so that, why women get stuck with makeup. But that's within, like, all creation. Even, like, ducks, they're, like, blue. And the females are, like, brownish gray. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I that's feel right. like that's normal. It is. I don't know why. Interesting. But guys, like, a lot of men have, like, <coughs> really long eyelashes or really nice hair or something. And then, like, women, we, like, wake up and put makeup on. Well, a lot of women do. Just to try and, like, look good. <laughs> You keep wearing sunglasses in the morning oh, when we yeah. go for our walks. We've been starting this thing where we like go for a walk every morning. But I think, sh- I mean, you can be honest with everybody. I think you keep wearing sunglasses because you, because my future. 
<laughs> oh, he said this so to bright. me the last like three days. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, put those on. My future is really bright. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like she keeps looking into my future, and so she has to wear sunglasses because it's just like the, it's too he's bright like for you. The most annoying like old man already. It's like okay. it's like six in the morning, and he's like, oh yeah, my future is really bright, honey. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> So I have to look forward to them for the next, like, till death do us She's, part. You're just out in the middle of nowhere in the bush wearing these, like, over-the-top, savage, this is a brand, the sunglasses. You look like a complete tool out there. I'm not a morning person, so I can't quite open my eyes hmm. until around 8. So I need a little, like, sunnies on. You've been doing good. We've been doing a good job. Yeah. See? High five. John's been doing better. He hasn't been so mean waking me up. Huh. Good, good job for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's been better less like abrupt yelling i've been making deposits small deposits yeah huh. like wake up and i'm like oh <laughs> but i still get up yeah it takes me how like, are you feeling uh tired and you still want me to stay up till like 11 so that's not really I'm maybe not- it's because of the thing in between your eyes the 11 oh the 11 <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, we got a question. <laughs> That's an 80s song. Thank you, normally. There's a he normally said there's an 80s song that said the future's so bright. No, I, gotta wear I really shades. love your comments, but now do you know what's gonna happen to me? Is that it's definitely playing on like our next walk. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Hundred <laughs> percent. You guys will see that on Instagram real very, very soon. <laughs> I feel like it's very loud. Like I can barely hear you. I don't know if anybody can hear us in the mics, but yeah, I, it's not really. Eh? Oh, I guess it just sounds like there's a little bit of static. I'm honestly like pretty done with rainy season. Oh, I'm so done with yeah. it. And it's been really it's been hot go. this year. And it's really like crushed my entire mood of my life. Mm. I haven't dealt with the heat very well this year. I found like by like two in the afternoon, I'm kind of done with my day. Like I'm like, I don't want to do anything else. I just want to like go sit in the river. Like just focus on being cool. Yeah. Just like try to survive. Yeah, I think the hard part is that like we spend a lot of time like like doing office work. And yeah, like we're not not all of our time is like. I don't mind sweating if I'm out on the farm or if I'm yeah, actually working. I don't Who care cares? about that. I don't even think about being hot when I'm out there. It's just like you expect to be hot. So you don't yeah. really complain about it. But like when you're inside or like sitting at your computer, sending off proposals <laughs> and stuff, and it's like you're sweating, that's when it gets frustrating. I think. Yeah. Like my sister was really surprised when she came to visit how like soaking wet you are, even though you're dressed and just like walking around the house doing nothing. She was also surprised that it's like can be wet season and rainy season. Or sorry. Wet season, wet season and, and hot, hot season at the same oh, time. Yeah. Well, that is weird. You would think rain would mean cold. Right. But it doesn't. It just but means it doesn't humidity. Be, yeah, it just means humidity. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> so going into this week, um, we're mostly doing office work. We've got a couple of Waka Media proposals that we've put out to do some big projects. So that mm-hmm. is something we're looking forward to hearing back from. Um, it's been like a slow progression of us just putting a few things together and out. We haven't had the most time to kind of pursue clients and customers, but we've actually had a handful of jobs without that. Yeah. So that's been really nice so far. Yeah. And I think just like the more effort we put into it, the more we'll get back out of it. And honestly, I think this is going to be like one of the best things that we do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <clears throat> I fully expect and the plan and the hope is that like people can't associate or think about Fiji without thinking about our brand. And so I think this is the best way to to go in that direction because and maybe I've said it before, but like the cool thing about like media and content is that like your product is your marketing material. I mean, yes, you have to make specific marketing material once in a while, but the product that you create, you can actually use as promotional material to get you your next job. So like if I make a coffee, like I have to make a video about the coffee to make, to do promotion. But like if I make a video for an NGO, I can just ask them if I can use that video for 
our own social media and most of them because we get eyes on our stuff like everybody says yes like of course why wouldn't we want to promote what we did and we're like yeah exactly because like you promote that gets more eyes for you it gets more eyes on the project that we completed it's like a win-win yeah. in my mind well and i'm excited to make content for other people yeah like uh you don't see me as much on screen because i'm a little bit more opposed to it <laughs> but your vlog is coming out soon <clears throat> yeah my friend and i did make a vlog i don't know how it is to be honest it could be very long and boring but it could be informational you might just like what is it about it's just about us on holiday it's what we talked about our last podcast it's like us traveling around seeing different hotels mm. we're reviewing all the hotels um and both of us are like a little bit uncomfortable on screen and then the longer we did it like the easier it gets you know to be comfortable but i've always been just a little bit more squeamish than you are like you can be in like a crowd of like 500 and you don't care you could film something where <laughs> i could like that short like that one i did in front of the women's convention yeah well i could probably have done that because yeah. that's like a performance but like when you stood up in front of like the entire rugby stand when we went and watched the sevens and you did like a reel there oh i would have died oh really <laughs> but nobody was watching me everybody's watching rugby no everybody was watching you really huh the trick that i use for like public speaking or like making videos in public is just that i don't even know if i heard it from somebody i just think of like every person as being one like individual they are not looking at you thinking like oh we are all watching him and he yeah. must be nervous it's just like i'm one person <clears throat> watching one person there just happens to be a bunch of individuals watching you but like i think people get overwhelmed because they think of like the group yeah and then you have to like perform or like do any better than you have than you would do in just a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody which is not true like, i don't know like when we did the women's event i don't mind being up in front of 400 people doing something because like they're all supposed to be watching me and that's fine okay but even like when one person is watching me and like i screw up like do you see me do this like we were doing like a digicel commercial and we were oh. in there and i kept that was one of the up. first ones huh? yeah and i know i don't normally wear makeup but i had like a little bit of like under eye color on like to hide my bags and it was like oh like the more you screw up the redder you're getting the more like you can see like your white makeup because your skin is so red oh really get <laughs> out like, of here normally you can't see it but my skin was getting so red because i kept botching it and they'd be like do it again and i'm like oh. that's why you shouldn't wear makeup yeah yeah, I won't be doing that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what so, else do you have for us? headlines that we got to go through today. Oh, apparently they're starting to produce kava in the States. Oh, really? So the commercial production of kava in the U.S. is causing concern among Pacific Island yeah. kava exporters. Okay, listen to this though, right? Okay. Last year alone, Vanuatu ex exported... 351 tons of kava to the U.S. In 2020, Fiji's Ministry of Trade reported over 25 million U.S. of kava being exported to America. Okay. Um, the Prime Minister of Fiji said market pr protections were not in place for Fiji and kava growers and exporters and that producers will just have to step up their game. But for others, the emergence of kava plantations in the U.S. is an encroachment on the Pacific Island nations. It is a no-win situation for the Pacific. Our leaders have to speak up, says University of Waikato senior lecturer in health, Dr. Apo Aporosa. Dude, Apo Aporosa? Apo is like Apolosi? Must be. That's funny. Dr. Apo Aporosa. <laughs> Aporosi Aporosa? <laughs> um, I mean, respect. You're a senior lecturer. But, uh, oh, so if the production of kava is the is industrialized in the u.s this is going to have an impact on our pacific families who are growing kava in their villages he said that would affect kava farmers who rely on the small bit of money they get from selling kava mm. that they used to pay school fees and to buy their household staples but it's mm. like when he says like it's a no-win situation for the pacific our leaders have to speak up speak up about what about what it's like you can't say anything stop growing kava in the usa what are they like what is the prime minister of fiji supposed to do about 
the U.S. producing kava? Like, I'm obviously missing something. Maybe you guys in the live can help us. Like, is there lobbying that can go on with the, like, Fijian representatives in the U.S. that can ask them to not plant kava? But, like, we're also dealing with, like, freedom! You know, like, the <laughs> You're not going to go to the U.S. and tell people that they can't plant something if they no. have the ability to plant well, it. Well, that would be weird anyway. Like, you can't monopolize one thing. You can't say, oh, we can only grow ginger. You can't grow ginger. Right? Like, in con- like per country. In a country. Only our country is allowed to grow, grow ginger. Like, what I just don't understand. The leaders, our leaders have to speak up. So, maybe you'll see this. Mr. Doctor, sorry. That's actually one thing that really ticks me off. <laughs> All right. Is that like doctors? Is it, some doctors are cool about it, but some doctors like, what's your name? It's like, oh, it's Dr. Bati. Nice to meet you. It's like. Yeah, it has you... no relevance. Like, I know you worked for that title, but also like get out of here no like nobody cares if, you know how many doctors there are no but like if it has relevance to like you're giving medical advice or you are sure speaking you're a lecturer on you're a lecturer you should use your title to give yourself like authority yeah which makes sense but like when you're out in public and you introduce yourself as like doctor such and such it's like take a long hike not a short hike like I'm a long start hike being like i'm business owner stephanie right <laughs> It just seems so narcissistic. Every time somebody introduces themselves to me, like, I'm Dr. So-and-so, it's like, okay, number one, I don't care. And now, number two, I'm not listening anymore because, like... You need to be like, I am Jonathan of Fiji. I am Captain this- Underpants. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Oh, no. Don't say that. <laughs> All right. Bula, everybody. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, welcome to On The Mat. You want to plug our media company while I drink this? Oh, Speaking okay. of kava... Bulunaka. <laughs> um, our media company is Waka Media. So we are promoting um, small businesses by helping them do reels and photography, commercials. And we are also helping NGOs tell their story so they can get more donors and explain what they're doing for the people that are giving them financial and aid and why. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're pursuing right now. Uh, we've had a lot of experience in the last four years doing those things. We think we can really give that story some oomph and share it well so that's why we're pursuing those avenues the problem is always when and you even see it like some of our stuff like we trial things all the time on social media and like you can tell when there is no story behind what you're doing like when there's no hook when there's no like if you're not solving a problem or anything like the video doesn't perform and so a lot of people who have businesses like they just want to like take a picture of the coffee and that's it and expect it to resonate with the millions and it's like that's not what makes you special no no, no. it's like it's the people it's the why you do what you do yeah that's what actually people care about yeah and it's something we're passionate about something we enjoy um we have a really good team behind us and i think that i think in the next few years we'll just slowly expand and do more and i i think like the more experience that we have and the more clients that we take on, it's it's going to be great to be able to showcase more of what's going on in Fiji and, and help tell people's stories. I think that'll be kind of the most exciting part of our journey so far. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Is there any questions on the live? Okay, so how? So the question is, how popular is rugby in Canada? And how does it rank, like, in terms of sports? <coughs> um, rugby is gaining popularity, like, all over the world. Yeah. Okay, I should say in North America, it's growing, like, hugely. Um, especially in the last probably decade and a half. It makes me sound super old. <laughs> but Honey, you are getting older. I am, I am getting older. You're right. Um, I would say in Canada, like it's popularity, like for sure in Canada, first you have ice hockey. Yeah. That's by far the most popular. I'd say second, you probably have uh, baseball or soccer. After that, you probably run into like a lacrosse. Oh yeah. Um, 
and then you might find rugby like sixth or seventh or something yeah, like that. It's definitely gaining popularity, yeah. but it's not everywhere. Probably a bit more popular than ultimate frisbee, but less popular <laughs> than. Oh no, volleyball is up there too. Yeah, we play a lot of volleyball. A lot of volleyball, a lot of indoor sports, because it's a lot of places are yeah. cold a lot. Yeah, too much snow going on there. But for sure, hockey number one. Yeah. That's okay, right. what do you think? Hockey number one. Yeah. Second, baseball? No, no. Uh, there's also football, though. Football, like American football. Oh, and like hockey that, number one. Soccer yeah, number I would two. Say soccer and maybe. It depends on what town you're from. Like where I grew soccer, up. Soccer, then volleyball, then basketball. Yeah, okay. After basketball. Baseball? Baseball. I feel like after baseball's big. Baseball, lacrosse. Yeah. After lacrosse, rugby. Maybe. Yeah. I yeah, know. I think we accurate. It's probably where it's like, yeah, six yeah. or seven. Yeah. Anything else? That's it. What's a word that you used this week that you uh, really got a kick out of? Mm-hmm. We were doing this thing called Word of the Day. And so. Oh, like next time you need to give me like a heads up. We, Me and Tui started using this word. Okay. Ethereal. Okay. Well, I've used it before, but then which, me and Tui. Which means like. Uh, majestic or what yeah. is that? I think we have we done that before the ethereal word. Yeah, did we do it before on a live? Yeah, yeah. What was but your Tui's word? actually been using it. Yeah, but like, what was your word inside and in the kitchen that you were like? It means tax and. Oh, yeah. EBITDA. Yeah, EBITDA. It's, it's not like a. <laughs> it's not actual word. It's an acronym. I feel like we should look this up. That you were accurate. What EBITDA? Earnings means. before interest, tax, amortization. Yeah. EBITDA. Earnings before interest, tax, and amortization. Okay. Yeah. See, oh, depreciation, tax. Those are yeah. the kind of words that will make you sound smarter than other people. Yeah, we're, we're aiming for like a 20% to 25% EBITDA. Yeah, because people get like really lost. They're like, I don't know what that means. But then you're and like. And then you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, sure. oh, yeah, my, my EBITDA. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bit, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm uh, 25 EBITDA. Yeah, but yeah. do. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, that's where I'd be going. Uh, like, I have an uncle that does a lot of business, and he'll use words like that. And then you're like, you know, I'm like Googling, like, <laughs> yeah. what is he talking about? Me, 40, yeah, but I'm a do. But yeah, yeah, but yeah, but do. No big deal. <laughs> Holy crap, you're right. dumb. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up our Kay. podcast part. If you want to keep going on the mat, you're No, we'll shut to. it down because it's getting so loud yeah, with the rain. I, can I can't hear even hear my, you, Harvey. Yeah, that's a problem. Thank you guys for joining. My name is Jonathan. This is my beautiful not, 11. She's an 11 out of 10. <laughs> All right. And uh, this is On the Mat. And this is also episode 31 of the podcast. If you guys want, go check us out on all platforms. And we appreciate your guys' support very, very much. And we'll catch you guys on Monday on the live. Go watch the rugby games this weekend, and we'll see you next week on the podcast. Peace.